Hey guys, it's Ella Holmes, and today I'm going to show you how to do the quad fish tail. Um, it has to be done on a monster tail or on a regular loom. So this design you can use on any one, preferably the monster tail on the loom. It's so much harder and it doesn't really come out as right because it doesn't really have a square shape unless you're using the rainbow loom. You would use it on the monster tail from Rainbow Loom or the Rainbow Loom Loom from Rainbow Loom. So monster tail is preferably because it's small and it's easier to make these long kind of bracelets for like the fish tails, um, DNA, all those. So I'm gonna teach you how to make this, and as you can see, it looks like it's knitted on your shirt. Very, very thin. Thanks on also high bands for my kind of wrist. So it might be different on your wrist. And this is my first fish tail and it came out like perfect. So yeah, this is kind of easy. You need one of the rainbow loom products, rainbow the rainbow loom or the monster tail. But I'm doing red, white, and yellow. For mine, but I'm just going to show you how you're going to set it up. First, you take your one color, your fur color, whatever color, and and you make a square on it. You're only going to need this much. You're only going to need four pegs, so it doesn't matter what you use. Then you are going to take this. I can do this. You take the farthest band. This one right here. Oh, go back. Take it, you grab it, and you come off. Then you're going to twist it around the peg you just took it off. So, so like that. So it's twisted around the one peg. Over here, you do the same thing. You take the farther side, and you just twist it around the peg. So it's twisted. You go around to the other side. You go from one side, take it off, and you twist it over like that. Take the other side, twist it, pull it over. So it should make a shape like this, where it's like a baby rectangle in the back. Then you take your next two colors, which mine are yellow and white, and you put them on there like if you're doing a regular fish tail. You just put it over the squares, like that, that one, so it's like that. It looks like an actual fish tail. Then you take your bottom one, which is my red, take it and you pull it over so it kind of makes it look like a corner sort of or big triangle as I do that to all the other sides and then you put your next color on there which is my red usually when you do three colors on fishtails or this one Whatever one you just pulled or just loomed is the next one color you put on. That's how I kind of remember. And I also put my um, rubber bands in order of how I'm going to put them on the thing. Next, then you just do take your yellow, like fishtail, bring it over on all sides. And then you put on that color, your next color, which mine is yellow. And so I'm going to do it with you for a couple more times. Alright, so take the white, bring it over, or your third color, over. And put your next color, which mine is white. For fish shells and stuff, I usually do three. It helps me remind me of the pattern. Two is kind of hard. That's why I do it. Put the bands in order of it. Take the red, bring it over. So we've done this a couple of 
couple times. So it should start looking like that. Kind of making diamond kind of shape in there. So I'm going to do it a couple more times. Do, and then I'm going to uh, go off camera, go down just a little bit and show you what it's going to look like. So bringing it all up, on over, and over, and over, push down. I just did yellow so I need to put yellow next in the color. And now I also remember what color comes next is what color is not on there. One of my favorite colors, I had red and white, so let's see what color do I need on there on all the bags. I need yellow. It's just how I kind of remember. Put the white over. Your third color, your fourth color, your fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, twelfth color, first color. Color. Let me go. This one more time. I'm going to do it up close. Alright. So. It looks like this. So I look like this all time. Take it. You're going to grab your bottom most color. Mine is red. Take it. And you bring it over the peg. Like that. So now all you see is yellow and white. Over here you see red, yellow, and white. Oops, just go down to your bottom color. It's hard doing this backwards. Bring it over and let go. Switch your sides. Go over to your bottom most color. And bring it bottom most color. Bring it up. There you go. So now it looks like this. And then the bottom will look something like that. Or it should look like that. It does not look like official at all. But I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to go down a little bit. And I'll be back to show you. So, see you in a few minutes. If it starts to look like it's going hollow in the middle. That's what it's supposed to do. So that is how it's looking so far. I'm going to go a little bit longer. It still doesn't look like a fish tail. Or like the one I showed you of the purple, pink, and turquoise one. But just wait and I'll show you. Okay, by now, after probably five minutes, you pause and you're looming and catching up to me. You're looking at your loom and saying, This thing does not look like this. It does not look like the quadruple bracelet. It just looks like single, which I mean this is another kind of bracelet design, but um, to make the quad fish, this is my other design. This is kind of a two-on-one kind of video. Um, this is one design that I call the quadruple ladder because the lines right there, it says like the quad ladder sort of because it has the lines and then all sorts of stuff and it has like the lines or the stuff. I don't know really what to call it. It just looks so cool. What if you're saying it's not looking like the one you had before? What you do is grab the end, pull, 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 let go. Now, what does it look like? Now it looks like my bracelet. And now it looks like the bracelet. And then now the top, after you pull it, is a very tiny triangle. You know, now that you've pulled it like this to make it look like that, you do not need to pull it anymore. I didn't have to on this one. After I pulled it, I did not need to um, pull anymore. It just started to go into the design by itself. But if yours doesn't do that, just pull it and I'll go into it. So that's the fishtail, quad fishtail. Looks like that. 
So keep going till your desired length. Then I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Of course. I don't know why I paused. Sorry. Alright, I'm going to make it go longer, but mine is going to go like really, really long. So I'm just going to show you. Now. So after you put your last color, your final color, you did it. You're going to take, um, You're gonna take all of, you're gonna put, um, after you have the color, before you put your next band on there, you're gonna take all your colors and you're gonna put them on the one on this peg. You're gonna take this one, you're gonna put it on this peg. See? Take this one, put it on this peg. You're going to take this one, put it on this back. Then you're going to C clip it. You're going to put it on the thing, which I don't do that. Stop. And for show, you do want to put it on your hook. You're going to kind of pull it out, put your end clip on all your bands, which are kind of hard to do because there's lots of bands right here. This might take a minute. Well, I'm going to show you here because i got to continue. And then you're just going to take it and you're going to clip it to the end. The end that's going sideways, and you're gonna clip it onto your C clip, and voila, you have your quadruple fish tail. So give this bracelet a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see all my other new videos coming out about rainbowing my bracelets. I also do soaps, candles, and scrubs on different playlists. I also have a like playlist on some videos about soaps, candles, different kinds of scrubs, and even um, bracelets that I think will suit you fine to learn to make. So check those ones out. And click like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Check out my Etsy shop. I'm going to be putting some bracelets on there as well. To sell on my Etsy. And I do have soaps I'm putting on there waiting for them to cure before I'll put them on there. It's just soap etiquette and you wait for your soaps to cure before you post them for them to be sold. I'm trying to get this off while talking. It's kind of difficult. Um, comment down below if you want more tutorials on the Monster Loom. Because I just got it like a couple days ago. And this was the first bracelet I made on it. So, comment below if you want more tutorials on the Monster Tail. Another great person that I like to watch her bracelet tutorials is So Craftastic. She doesn't just do bracelets, she does all kinds of stuff too, like me. And then Tutorials by A, she just does strictly bracelets, and she does a lot of tutorials on the monster one. There's the Ziggle Zaggle bracelet. Um, that's the only one I learned from her, but hers are her original designs too. This is not an original design. It is from Rainbow Room. It was on the instruction seat. Instructions sheet. So just check out all those other people. Click like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.